bush hogging my garden down because my peas is played out and everything else is my beans and butter beans are played out. So he's push hogging it down. Hopefully we can spray some Roundup to kill the grass. And the only things left is my okra. It's still, they're just starting to come off good. Um, everything else is just the sun's killed it. It's been so hot and dry lately. It's worked on the garden. So we're getting a bush hog. Hopefully we can get it sprayed and maybe dissed up a little bit. I lifted this plant some more spinach and some fall stuff. I wouldn't mind having some broccoli because that broccoli just, they, it started sprouting and it's the heat and it burned it up. So it didn't do good. I should have planted it earlier. Broccoli does not do good when it's hot. Just like spinach, it didn't last long neither. But it's good while it lasted. But it's time to bush hog it down because the weeds are starting to get bad. And the grass. Okay, so I come, I'm going to come out here to try to work on this hot mess, bomb blowed up craft barn. 
because it has just gotten a mess. I haven't been working this past week out here. Um, I haven't even hardly stepped out here other than to feed Lulu and the goat. I haven't even been in my craft barn other than to put stuff I ordered in here. And it's got a hot mess. I went earlier this week to a craft store and bought some fall stuff. I got to order some more ribbon from a wholesaler that I usually order from. And I got to get Lulu's cage out of this barn, but it is a hot mess. I'm going to flip the camera around and see how hot mess it is. Um, I just been so busy this past week working on a homestead, doing, you know, cleaning the chicken coops out. Been doing more canning this week and I just trying to do all that stuff because I'm wanting to get back in my barn. I was going to start full blast doing fall and Christmas stuff because I've been trying to schedule a lot of events coming up. November, I've got two events coming up in November that I've already tried to sign up for. One I'm already paid for, I know I'm in. The other one... Um, I'm still waiting on to make sure I'm been accepted. So, I'm planning on wanting to have some in October. I know Princeton's doing the, um, the market days as well, and they're trying to get it where it's every, every um, from like in September, October, November, they want to have one every, one every month. So, I'm hoping that will... Um, it works out and we can go to that as well so i'm trying to get some things planned and i got some other things in the works that um some exciting news i would be sharing with you later about um that we're going to be listing some stuff on our website and we're going to be redoing our website a little bit and i'm going to be offering where y'all can purchase stuff and i think it's going to be really inner really great because i think you'll would love to have what I'm going to have on my website. And I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And I finally have a company that's going to work with me. And allow me to put this on my website. So I am excited about that. I've been I've been working. It's working on some stuff. Um, I'm trying to get my business grow. Trying to get my work out there. But I try to do good quality work. And hopefully people will enjoy my wreaths. And my arrangements I do. Um, I want to start doing a little bit more bows because people love bows as well. And what I got coming will work great with bows because, um, it just will decorate it even better. So I still haven't got my walls fixed. We're still trying to debate what to use and I'm waiting for some prices to go down before I can do that. And we'll, me and Andy will probably end up doing it ourselves anyhow. So, so hopefully one day I'll have my walls done in here as well. So as you can see. I got this desk in this corner. I got all this, look at my de look at my desk up there I work. It looks like a hot mess. Um, all this crap on the floor. All my roofs is over there. But I got all these things that I would took out of the house that I could use in here, which were perfect because none of my stuff's really, really heavy other than the roofs that I can put so much it won't bend it over. So I'm gonna hopefully today get this stuff looking. I'm getting Lulu's pin out. Or our cage out because I don't know long no longer will need that anytime soon I hope and if I do I can always bring it back so I'm gonna try to clean up this mess in here because so you can see I have been working on this building all afternoon and I have come up with this solution I think it looks great. I got to move this container that's in front there and I got some empty containers I got to put up and I got them I got Christmas and fall stuff up there, like decorations and stuff up there, um, ribbon and stuff. So I got to get a ladder and go up there and bring some of my fall stuff down and arrange some of that junk that's up there hanging to make it look better. Um, but I got trash to call off in a bucket with my cleaning where I cleaned truck this week. I got to carry it back to the shop. Um, I was going to try to clean the trailblazer. But it's been so hot today, I didn't mess with that today. So I decided to work inside and trying to get my craft barn so I can start working and organize better. And that you can see before and after pictures are amazing. So I got my ribbon right here. I've got to order some fall ribbon and some more fall signs because I'm going to definitely start working on fall stuff. I want to get some made up. And I still got this table desk over here for right now. And I got this wall, so I'm so glad I still got space. I can put more stuff if I need to. Um, and I love to put my 
the racks back in here so I can, when I get done with wreaths, I can hang them up. So that's my next project, trying to figure out something, how to hang my wreaths up in here. It looks a whole lot better. It is so organized. I got my wreaths, I got my flowers, and I got my greenery stuff over here, ribbon, um, phone stuff. I got some paint stuff, my signs, and cotton in the box up there. I just didn't want my cotton to get dusty or anything like that so i'm trying to keep down and keep it away from the cats too the cats love to play with my cotton when they come in sometimes i got to move that container i got some christmas um sleds and stuff like that and that soon i'm gonna start working on so i didn't want to have to put them back up when i want to start working on some christmas and fall fall and christmas is my next project so i'm gonna be working on i've cleaned off this desk clean off my well not this but workstation so i got that looking good I got to get me another chair. I've been using my stool, and this chair actually goes with that little office craft table there. So I was just had this slid over there for a minute because I've been sitting there for a minute. And I have my pillow because sometimes I had my bar stool, and I sometimes sit on the pillow because it got would get hard. But I got to get a little bit higher up stool too so I can work. And but I am satisfied. Well, how it looks. Um, for right now, I'd love to get my walls done in here, but one day it's gonna get done. But right now, I'm tr we're trying to figure out what we want to do and how we want to do it. And right now, it's fine like it is because I'm working in it. So, and this looks a whole lot better. So I've been busy this week trying to get the well, what I call the workshop my craft barn ready. Um, I'm trying to get it organized a whole lot better. I got a table kind of in the middle, so I got these racks we did have in the house that we put the canning on because we got wire racks. I put these out here in the building and it works perfect. It has my, I got my ribbon up here. I got my signs. I got my greenery stuff. I got my phone stuff. And then on this side, I got my flowers and wreaths at the bottom. So I've got it a little bit more organized so I can work out here better. And I've been working on table arrangements this week, which you can see some on the table. Um, I've been working on wreaths. And the main thing I was wanting to get the workshop cleaned up is what I, products I'm about to show you today, because this is what I've been um, working with a company with for the past week or two. And we're trying to get this lined up, trying to get our website um, fixed. And it's gonna be a work, um, progress for the next week or two trying to get everything lined up and changing some stuff around um, but the products that I'm gonna be carrying um, in our store on our website is from custom decor we I'm gonna have garden flags big flags mailbox covers and signature signs right now they got many other products but right now I'm starting with, uh, with those. They also carry other different signs. They also carry pillows, and I might get into that later on. But right now I'm trying to see how things go with the flags and the mailbox covers, because I know they're very popular and everybody likes to do that. Flags from Custom Decor are double-sided, 12 by 18 inches, printed in the USA, UV protected, and now I'm going to show you what we have in stock. So here are some of the garden flags that we have in stock. This is Whimsical Scarecrow. Um, so it's very colorful and it says fall on it. And I also have been making handmade bows to match your flags. So you can use these bows on your stand or on your mailbox covers. So I'm gonna show you some more garden flags that we have um, in, in stock on our website. Um, this one is Autumn Wreath. And then this one is Autumn Wildlife. So this one's Fall Anirondack. And mostly I've got fall flags um, and other things listed on the website right now, but I did purchase a few things that won't fall because I know that's what's in season right now. But this is a farm welcome one
and this one has a cowl on it and this one says floral cowl and then back to the fall ones we have people who love beach this is beach bonfire and then we have fabulous fall Sunflower truck. Gather and give. Fall into Jesus. And all our camper lovers, we have fall camper. And then we have the cardinal birdhouse. and then pumpkin sunflower and to see all our flags that's in stock because we got many more go to our website at whirlyhomesteadmarket.com so we also carry large flags um, they are 28 by 40 inches so right now we only have two designs that's in stock um, hopefully we're soon going to be ordering more but if you see like a garden flag that you like but you also want a big flag send us an email and i can i can order it and have it within a week or two it's just i you know we were trying trying to see what people will like and i didn't order but so much of certain things but there's no problem on getting them in stock so the two that i two big flags that i have in stock is whimsical scarecrow and i have the pumpkin truck so I have those in stock right now with the garden flags. This is one of the garden flags that matches the big flag, which is the pumpkin truck. And it does say welcome on it, welcome fall. So we are carrying the garden flag stands. And I, I'm trying to come up with a combo where you can, if you don't have a stand, you can buy a stand, a flag, and a bow to match it. So we're working on that. Um, but here's the flag. Here's the bow that I made handmade to match the flag. So this is something that we will be carrying on our website. So the next item we have is mailbox covers. The ones I've got in our store is standard side mailbox with magnetic strips. Um, they're also made outdoor graded vinyl and UV inks protected that protects your mailbox makeover from the elements. So this is one design which is matches the garden flag and I have a big flag. This is the pumpkin truck. And then I also have the whimsical scarecrow. And for Thanksgiving, I got welcome turkey. And I also got garden flags to match that. And I have a pumpkin sunflower and I have garden flags to match it. So all my mailbox covers um, on my website, there is garden flags to match them. So if you put it on your mailbox, you can put a flag underneath there if you wanted to. So to see all of our in stock mailbox covers, go to our website. So another item that we are carrying in our online store is signature signs from Custom Decor. And we also carrying the sign holders that these signature signs go into so and they just slide right in if I can get it right so they go slide right in so this is what it looks like in the sign holder um, most of these signs we have garden flags and mailbox covers to match that's in our online store in stock Here are some more signature signs that we also have in stock. We have the autumn wreath. We have the whimsical scarecrow. We have the cardinal birdhouse. And one of my favorites, we have the gatter blessing. But when I order, I, the only thing I could get 
with the barn on it was the signature signs. Um, I think they do have the mailbox covers, but they just didn't have the small flags. They had the large flags, but not the small flags. The only thing I ordered that has the barn on it was the signature sign. So hopefully they'll get some more in stock that I can purchase because I would love to have the garden flags in these. We will also have soon for signature sign holders the, the house numbers that you can put on the sign. Um, the house numbers come individually that you can place on the sign holder. So I'm going to place them to kind of give you an idea of what it kind of looks like. They also have magnets at the top that will stick to the sign. So the first sign I'm going to slide in and then well, I'm just going to create a number and slide the next one in. Slide the next one in and then the next one. So some people um, might only have four household numbers, but then you have some people that might have five household numbers, so there's places to do that. But if you only have four or less, then you can um, also buy these little designs. This is a star, but there's different designs, and they do have fall and Christmas, so you can change them out, and you can put them there. And if you have three, you could probably um, just do three and then put um, one of these on each side. I also um, was thinking about doing little miniature handmade bows to put on these if anybody was interested in something like that if they wanted the bow on it. But they would be smaller. It won't be as big as the flag um, bows. that will be just a little small bow just to decorate it. So if you see anything you like today you can go directly to our website and you can order from there and we can ship it out directly to you. Well, it's been a busy week, not just for work, but out here in the barn too. I know Ken's working here a whole lot. We're finally done with the garden. It's been bush hogged and another day or two I'm gonna have it all ditched in the ground, try to get it ready. Hopefully we can come back sometime in the next, I don't know, when we're gonna plant that broccoli and spinach. Soon, a couple couple weeks. Probably just a couple more weeks. I'm going to get that distant back in the next few days. It's been so doggone hot here right lately. It was, the index was like a hundred and something yesterday and the humidity is up. About the same thing again today and probably tomorrow and the next day. And then I think it's going to drop down to the nice cool temperature of 88 degrees I think about Wednesday here. So it's going to cool off in the next day or two. So we're going to get ready to start our kind of fall garden coming up with the spinach, broccoli, and I don't know what else we're going to plant you reckon. I don't know what else you can plant. And you can do collars, you can do turnips, anything. Yeah, I don't do stuff. no collars and turnips. That's why I work in that. <laughs> but we're gonna at least gonna plant some broccoli and some spinach because I like to eat a lot of spinach salads anyway. Kim's excited. She's got her flags in. She's got her reeves made. Got the website up. So if you get a chance, if you see a garden flag or something like that, y'all are interested in, go look at our website. We've got it up and running. And a few more odds and ends won't do to try to get it like we want it. But it's pretty good for right now. So if y'all see anything you like. Go over there and take a look at it. It's www.worleyhomesteadmarket.com. Should bring you right to it. Take a look around. Let us know if there's anything that you might want us to add to it. Uh, we sure will try to, try to get, make this business grow and hopefully when I retire, give me a little something to do other than the cows and the chickens and the donkeys and the goat. What else we got? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, but, so I'm going to need something to do. So I guess that's going to do it for us. We're going to get on out of here. And again, we appreciate you joining us. Please like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends and neighbors. And we sure hope to see you on the next video.